Hello, thank you for watching this Houston History Research Center presentation. This program is a collection spotlight to highlight research at the HHRC and what specific collections researchers may be interested in. My name is Elizabeth Mayer and I am the Preservation Librarian for HHRC. The goal of this program is to provide an overview for how researchers can access materials at the HHRC, as well as highlight one of the more popular archival collections in our holdings. I'll begin today's program with a quick introduction to the history of the HHRC. The Houston History Research Center was established in 1976, and it was known at the time as the Houston Metropolitan Research Center. It is the first of three research centers within the Houston Public Library system. We are located in the historic Julia Idison Building downtown, which used to be the main library location within the Houston Public Library. Our mission is to locate, preserve, and make available to researchers the documentary evidence of Houston's history. Within the Houston History Research Center, we house around 5 million photographs, 150,000 architectural drawings, 15,000 rare books, over 300 rare maps, over 1,400 oral histories, and over 1,100 archival collections. The archival collections that we house cover many aspects of Houston history, including city government records, school records, church manuscripts, community collections, and personal records from notable Houstonians. The many archival collections of the Houston History Research Center can be accessed at the Research Center's downtown location, the Julia Idison Building, located at 550 McKinney Street, just next door to the Jesse Jones Central Library. Visitors to the first floor reading room will be asked to sign into the room using their driver's license. Once visitors have signed in once, any returning visitors will only need to show their driver's license or any other form of photo ID to the staff members at the front desk. All of our collections are housed in closed stacks. In order to access these collections, visitors will request which collections they wish to see, and a librarian on staff will be able to retrieve the collections for them. While it is helpful to know exactly what you are looking for, that is not a requirement for our reference services. If a visitor knows what subject or topic that they are trying to research, the librarians on staff will be able to point them to the most relevant materials for their search. The first floor reading room is open five days a week and from Tuesdays through Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., with the exception of Thursdays in which we are open from 12 p.m to 7 p.m. At the Houston History Research Center, we know that not everyone is able to visit us in person during our open hours. Because of this, we have a number of alternative reference service options for researchers. The primary way we assist researchers remotely is through our email reference services. Any questions related to Houston history or to our collections in general can be directed to our email address, txr dot reference at houstontx.gov, and a librarian or archivist on staff will be able to send an answer. Through our email reference service, we also offer copy services from our archival materials. We can only copy up to 50 pages per request, but we can send copies of non-copyright protected archival collections for $2 per citation and $1 per page. We also offer more high quality reproduction services for our photo collections. Our reproduction and permission to publish form can be found on the Houston Public Library Digital Archives website, which I will discuss in more detail later in the program. General photo questions can be sent to our photo team at photo.reference at houstontx.gov. If researchers require more in-depth research services beyond the scope of our reference services, there are several independent researchers who can be hired to come to the HHRC in person and research collections. A list of these private researchers can be provided by the reference staff at HHRC. The collection I'm going to highlight in today's video is the Joseph M. Heiser Jr. Environmental Collection. This collection is one of several collections in our holdings that focuses on environmental history and natural science in and around the Houston area. This collection is frequently requested by researchers who are looking into environmental activism in Houston.
We have a number of collections that I will touch on later that cover different environmental movements and how they have impacted Houston history. But the Heiser Collection really touches on the lives, studies, and philanthropic activities of early conservationists and outdoor enthusiasts, which can be interesting to both to researchers interested in environmental activism and to researchers interested in the sociology of early 20th century Houstonians. So, who was the titular Heiser of this collection? Joseph M. Heiser Jr. was a lifelong environmental advocate and outdoor enthusiast. His father, J. M. Heiser Sr., was the first superintendent of parks in Houston, so his interest in all things nature likely started at a very young age. Born in 1897, Heiser lived till 1987 and was a veteran of both world wars. Heiser was an accountant by trade, but dedicated most of his life to environmental appreciation and activism. Heiser Jr. was a founding member of several environmental and recreational groups in Houston, many of which are still active today. He was also in contact with several well-known contemporary naturalists and had a special appreciation for studying birds. Heiser even aided the National Audubon Society prior to a Texas branch of the organization being established. The J.M. Heiser Environmental Collection contains 41 boxes of correspondence, organizational records, academic essays and other writings, and photographs. As described by our archivists, the Heiser Collection mainly reflects Joseph Heiser's interest in nature and the preservation of the environment, primarily in Texas. One of the largest subseries within this collection contains the records of the many clubs and organizations that Heiser was a member of. The clubs that feature most prominently within this collection include the Outdoor Nature Club, which is one of the first specifically dedicated conservation or environmental groups in Houston. This group was founded in 1923, and Heiser himself was one of the founding members. There is even a letter to the editor in the Houston Chronicle written by Heiser himself in 1923 remarking on the need for such a group. An article one month later in the same newspaper in April of 1923 advertises the first official meeting of the Outdoor Nature Club. Heiser was a longtime member of the club and served the club as both a board member in various positions and as a committee chairperson in various positions. The records for this club within the collection include yearbooks, publications, membership rosters, treasurer's reports, constitution and bylaws, and correspondence. The collection also contains uh, records of the Big Thicket Association. The Big Thicket Association was established in 1964 and the majority of the records in our collection cover the organization in the 1960s and the 1970s. Information on this organization includes information on the Big Thicket area itself, meeting newsletters, bulletins, and other publications, as well as news clippings related to the organization's activities and to the Big Thicket National Preserve. We also have records of the Zoological Society of Houston, the Zoological Society of Houston was incorporated in 1967. The records of this society include bylaws, board meeting minutes, directors' meetings, fundraisers, and newsletters called Monkey Business. There are several other local, state, and national groups that are featured within this collection. Although each group, besides the primary organizations that I just listed, each have only a few folders at most of material, they are still an interesting resource on environmental organizations in the 1900s. Some of these additional groups include the National Conservancy, the Houston Botanical Society, the National Audubon Society, and the American Society for Oceanography. In addition to in-depth records on environmental groups, the Heiser Collection features a number of publications of varying scope and size. Several of these publications are associated with the many organizations that Heiser was a part of. These include a couple of Outdoor Nature Club publications, such as Spoonbill and The Gulf Coast Migrant, both of which are ornithology-focused newsletters as well as The Pine Needle, a small-run newspaper associated 
with the Big Thicket National Preserve. Heiser also collected a number of magazines, such as Texas Game and Fish and the Texas Forest News Magazine. Finally, Heiser also collected a number of books that were focused on his interests, including A Field Guide to Birds and The American Conservation Movement by Stephen Fox. As mentioned earlier, in addition to being an enthusiast of nature and animals in general, Heiser was connected deeply to environmental advocacy, which the collection reflects. The collection contains records of the establishment of the Little Thicket Nature Sanctuary, which was established by the Outdoor Nature Club. The collection houses land and deed information on the Little Thicket Nature Sanctuary, as well as visitor registrations for the sanctuary. The collection also contains a significant amount of research into soil and water conservation. Much of this research is focused on Texas water resources, particularly the many rivers in Texas, and how that impacts the land and how to preserve these water resources. A significant portion of the Heiser collection is a large number of photographs of Heiser, the Outdoor Nature Club, and Houston and Texas Nature and Wildlife. Many photographs were taken by Heiser, while several others are of Heiser himself and taken by others. Many of these photographs are digitized and can be found on the Houston Public Library Digital Archives website. For the final part of this program, I will go over how to access the Houston History Research Center's digitized materials, as well as what further collections you may be interested in if the Heiser Collection is of interest to you. Now, a majority of the Heiser Collection has not yet been digitized, but a portion of the collection has, and I would like to take the time to talk about access options for digitized materials from the History Research Centers. The Houston Public Library Digital Archives is the public-facing, accessible website in which digitized materials from all three History Research Centers are housed. These materials include photographs, books, maps, manuscripts, videos, and oral histories. A link to the Digital Archives website can be found on the Houston and Texas History Research page on the Houston Public Library website. As I mentioned earlier, the portion of the J.M. Heiser Jr. collection that has been digitized and is available on the Houston Public Library Digital Archives website are the photographs from the Heiser collection. Low resolution copies of these photographs can be downloaded from the website. However, if researchers are interested in a high resolution copy, or if they would like to use these photographs in any publications, our reproduction and permission to publish form can be found at the top of the main page seen here in the screenshot of the uh, Houston Public Library Digital Archives website. The Houston Public Library Digital Archives website is an excellent online resource for patrons to access digitized library materials, but it is not the only online resource offered by the Houston Public Library. Additional resources that can be found on the Houston and Texas History Research page of the Houston Public Library website include the HHRC Archival Collections Database, which contains finding aids for the many collections housed in the Research Center. The website also has databases for the very extensive architectural and photo collections that are housed at HHRC. Additionally, for patrons with an HPL library card, the historic archive of the Houston Chronicle can be accessed online. The Houston Chronicle is an excellent resource for researching Houston history. Finally, for online resources that are not specific to the Houston Public Library, there is the Portal to Texas History, which is an online repository of archival materials across Texas. The HHRC is one of many research centers and archives that contribute digitized materials to the Portal to Texas History. If you are interested in continuing to research similar collections to the J.M. Heiser Jr. Collection, the Houston History Research Center has a number of collections that cover similar topics and time periods. If you are interested in continuing to look into J.M. Heiser Jr. himself, or looking more into social and recreational history in Houston, the HHRC also houses the Heiser Albon Circus Collection. 
Heiser was an avid fan of the circus, and he collected an impressive range of memorabilia, photographs, and newspaper coverage of circuses in and around Houston and Texas. If you are interested in continuing to research environmental history in Houston, the HHRC houses the Dr. W. A. Cubido Collection, which, along with the Heiser Environmental Collection, is requested quite a bit by researchers looking into environmental study and activism in Houston. The HHRC also houses the Y. Frank Youngman Environmental Collection and the Citizens Environmental Coalition records, both archival collections touch on the study of nature and environmental advocacy. The finding aids for these and other collections at the Houston History Research Center can be browsed online in our archival collections database, which can be accessed on the Texas History Research page of the Houston Public Library website that was mentioned earlier in this program. Thank you again for watching this Houston History Research Center presentation. If you have any questions about the Heiser Environmental Collection or any of HHRC's many archival collections, please contact us by email at txr.reference at houstontx.gov or by telephone at 832-393-1662. We hope you enjoyed this look into our collections. Be sure to keep an eye out for future presentations from HHRC. If you're interested in learning more about upcoming events, subscribe to our newsletter by going to houstonlibrary.org slash hrc.